Lonja PDP. A brother, Lonja PDP. A brother, Lonja Jagede. A brother, Lonja Itayo. A brother, Lonja E Yo Bodo Bale. Egbe. Torino. Ba se la ni bo wa. Egba mi. Ta ba ti la di bo nye. Ta ba ti te. Ta ba mo wo wa. Egba o. Eh? Egba ko. Ni nu ni nu ko ni afeti ni. Owo wogbo lò ni egba. Ke di bo ni fout bi di pi tori pe. A ti ko wong. A o sin baba de o wong. A o sin baba de o wong. La ti o se tombo. A o sin a ke di do wong. A baba baja. Eh baba. Bi mo a wong mong mong nong wa. A ma sin de o wong. To ba de bo do. Ta ke ibadon ni. A sin de ibadon. E ma jaya. So ba a si ko yi. E yi ni. E ba ro lu wa. E yi ni a nyo fe a ma a mi. E ni ti nu mi du si gidi gidi. E ma a ba ti re. But we will say one or two things. I want to appeal to the inner conscience of the citizens of Ondo State. All the inhabitants of Ondo State. Akoko uto la ti barawa do wo iya. Ati she i joba ri. Ama bi i joba che je. Ama bi i joba che wa. Ama uto wa ni joba. Ama tu joba le che fun yon. I joba can be positive, i joba can be negative. The current i joba is negative. The one, the PDP governments, over time are be positive. In infrastructure, positive. In health, positive. In agriculture, positive. In urbanization, positive. In economy, positive. In employment, positive. And everything, even mother and child, positive. In perfect and different, positive. Everything positive. But they came. They came. All over Nigeria. Most of them in the state. states. And they were looking the whole system. They fragmented the whole system. They downturned the whole system. They totalize the whole system. God will not forgive them. My good people of Ondo State, when it is time to campaign, we will tell you the nitty gritty of how to vote. We will tell you the benefits of you voting for PDP from national down to the state level, to the local government level. We will tell you. We saw government last in this state over almost four years now. When PDP government was in government, when we are running in this state, there was mother and child. We came first in, in West Africa, mother and child hospital, the pattern and maternity rate. We came first and they accoladed us, the PDP government. Our organization was first of its kind. Look at the medians on our road, you know, those days. Bushy, they are killing snakes, they are killing grass cutters on the medians of our roads in those days. It's a sacrilege. They go look at the education system. The education system is not affordable. What happened in the education system in those days? It's a fundamental error. It's a fundamental sacrilege. And God will not forgive them. It's a fundamental unwelcome. It's fundamentally wrong. For school height to be increased, for school fee to be increased, it's a fundamental error. It's a fundamental sacrilege. Those who benefited from the free education of our lover now tied up to your feet. God will not forgive them for respect. A vote for the monarch respectation. A vote for mother and child. A vote for mother to top approach. A vote for all the goody goodies of democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for voting for Egyptian for voting for PDP. PDP is the only party, individual party. PDP. 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 Umbrella. 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 I want to tell you. My people, when we were in power at the federal level, there was establishment of 12 federal universities. You know, those said we benefited too. We benefited in the Oluji, in the Oluji Polytechnic. The other Yami College of Education was upgraded to a university standard. When the PC came, they cancelled the elevation. I want to serve you. I want to watch them. I want to ban you. Come, come. To ban one who serve you. Allah, O Maribe, book be not it. Tadano. Oh, those take a jigiri. I don't want to be like you. Oh, my show. Serve you. I want to come. I want to watch them. 
So we will now regenerate the deforest forest. Now we're so to bafenye. Mother and child the new kitty buba to bafen. Now we're so okay. Mother and child the new kare to bafen. Now we're so okay. Oh, why you at your new dress? You go boy, you know. I be told this guy got don't pay seed money. Fun and one organizer. Fun and one dogging dogging. Fun and one dogging dogging. Fun and one artisans. Fun and one everybody that does business. Now we're so okay. To bamba di bufu e gita yo nko. Oh, we're okay. Well, my name is Dario Awude, former commissioner for youth and sports, and uh, state vice chairman PDP Central. Um, how do you feel? I mean, today is the final campaign rally of the of PDP. How do you feel? Well, it's been a wonderful process. We started the campaign about two months ago, and today we are bringing it to an end peacefully. No mishap, no accident. We want to give glory to God Almighty for His preservation. And of course, the way the people have accepted us, the way they have received us in the last two months, is overwhelming. And I want to say, the people of Ondo State are resolved. They have made up their minds to vote a Italian delegate this time. And I believe on Saturday, we will post home to victory. Um, backing up that statement, do you think with the level of awareness that PDP has created through the campaign, it is enough to win, I mean, to take over on those days? Well, I have no doubt in my mind that the PDP has rolled its manifestos before the people. And of course, the people of those state have bought into it and they are ready to work with the PDP this time around. They need a change of government. Yes. And here we are at the badge of that decision. What do you think differentiates the entire Jagede from its other political party candidates? Well, the entire Jagede has experience, he has capacity, and above all, he has character. When a man has character, he will go to length. You know? So he has capacity, he has character, and of course, he's very, very competent. And what advice do you have for the people of Ondo State? Come October 30th. What advice are people in Ondo State? So please, on Saturday, go ahead and do the needful. They must go out on Saturday and translate the enthusiasm, translate the warm reception to votes. Our people should vote on Saturday and stand by their votes. And those votes will count by the special grace of God. Amen. Burn the Mongo video kan Ninu video yi Ere lowo gomina ipile ondo Won ni ko assess awon opponent ye Enjo ri video ye Won ni ko soro ni pa awon to nba DJ Enjo wo video ye Ngba ti won ni ko soro ni pa ita yo jegede He said is my lane friend He's a senior advocate of Nigeria. He's a man well prepared for the job. By excellence, he's a man that is learned and has character. The Bible tells me that when the way of a man pleases God, he will make even his enemy to be at peace with him. Hey! Let me tell you, a lot have been said about the South Senatorial District. I am from the South Senatorial District, and we have our standard. The standard that is created by the South Central District is the standard of Olusha Gunkokumaga. It's the standard of Olusha Gunkokumaga. And the South will never fall below that standard. So if anybody comes to deceive you and tells you that the South has a candidate in this race, a people are known for their character and their characteristics. The character of the leader depicts the character of the people. Anyone that is contesting, whose intellectual capacity is below that which Agagu gave us, is not the character of the people of the South. Pay the pay. 
let me tell you. Mbata di boni 2019. PDP had over 35,000 votes to have you no APC. I was a collection officer. I was a returning officer. Therefore, I speak with authority. Out of the three senatorial districts, PDP had two senators. My name has not changed. I'm Honorable Engineer Clement Olasen de Fabo Yede. Immediate pass, PDP Chairman on those state. And current Deputy Director General on the 2020 campaign. I mean, so nice to meet you, sir. I mean, today is the final campaign rally of the PDP. How do you feel coming down here to Ondo to bless this occasion today? Well, my feeling is a cumulative one. Uh, we have started this campaign almost a month now. And honestly, we have crisscrossed from length to breadth of this state, from down to Bathsheba of this state. And the response was so, was so encouraging. You can see the passion in an ordinary voter. You can see the passion in the children. You can see the passion in the mothers. You can see the passion in the mothers. You can see the passion in the citizens of this state, both old and young. You can see the passion in the inhabitants of all those states. They are ready to vote for PDP. They are tired of the APC government. Because since almost four years now, uh, 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 we do not deceive ourselves. Uh, it is a retrogression of all the infrastructure uh, amenities that are totally supplied by the PDP government. Like the, in education, the school fee has been jacked up, more than affordable. I said it's a fundamental sacrilege and unacceptable politically and culturally for anybody that has enjoyed the free education of Chief Obama and Wolobo to act up to that constitution fee at the expense of the non-coding masses of all those states. They are, we are rejecting that. And we have made a promise that the PDP government will bring back affordable education to the doorstep of all the habitats and citizens of all those states. That is number one. In agriculture, the, have the forest, our forest, our forest has been, has been, has been extremely bastardized, sold off and extremely destroyed. We are going to regenerate our reserves. And in agriculture, we are going to encourage a more pop marketing system in our agriculture. When we, our farmers, from their produce, we won't allow any waste. We will mop it up. We will buy it up from them. We have silos that are used, that are underused, that are even used at all. You know, those things. All this is happens in, 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 the, in the modern countries of the world. We have farmers. We have government buy up, mop up, farm produces, adopt it, and adopt it in Atlantic Ocean. That system will come back. You know, those days we will mop up. Then, at the gas period, at, at the, the period where there are no production, we will now release it. We will mop up the, the, the produce of our of our farmers, so that they will run at a loss. There will be cycles for them. There will be characterization. There will be incentives and amenities for farming. You know those things, and there will be seed money, seed money without interest for agriculture in all those things. And more importantly, the artisans will be empowered. Artisans, they will be empowered. The artisans, they will be recognized. The artisans are the highest employer of labor anywhere in the world. We will empower them. We will give them seed money. We will give them tutorials. We will give them a seminars, and we buy them. We buy for them modern equipment for their job. After all the power, all the economic sector, all the private sectors, they you know there will be employment. And there's another program for PDP in you know, those states. We are going to mop up the all employment undergraduates that are not talking to Canada. All the employment undergraduates that are not talking to, 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 to vendors, to vulgars. We will mop up them. And they, all of them must learn the trade. We are there, we will be empowered. We are seeing the money for them. All these things are the goodies. And in our PDP government that we come, we have the norms and authority and respect for our culture, for fundamental heritage of our monarchs. Our culture. Eh? We are going to obey our culture. We are going to obey our culture. And we are going to make sure that our traditional rulers and fellows, they have their rightful position. We will not bastardize them. We will not take advantage of their positions. We are not going to walk on them. We are going to respect them. And we are going to give them incentives and let them have the authority of their fundamental powers that either to deluded them, that the bastardized over years by government. We are not going to do that. And I want to assure you that
that every individual inhabitants in this state will, will be carried along. They will be brought up to top approach. We will not do projects on communities. We will ask them what they need. We will execute it. They will be carried along. We will teach every community how to govern themselves, how to prioritize their projects, and how to maintain government projects. This much I went to those state people. This much I went to the inhabitants of those states. They vote for it. Thank you. Yes, and so, in, in, on the final note, what advice do you have for the people of Ondo State on October 10, 2020? They should go out and mass. Nobody can threaten anybody. There are no securities in Ondo State. The IG is up to the task. And I make as promise. What they have done in Ondo State, they will do more in Ondo State. Everybody will be free. Don't be intimidated. Go out. Go and vote. Stay with your vote. Go and be back in the country. To come and carry away ballot boxes. Somebody on my top one was a meeting, but when I told you, woe, but on the day, it's been a lot of police. It's a lot of no new woe. School sat. Kill a way. School sat. Near the way. Impossible of impossible. Can't. Because she said, Torino, a year on you. Let me find the people are enthusiastic. They are eager, they are warming up for the elections in October in, uh, on Saturday, and we are prepared. And we don't have any doubt at the back of our mind that they will turn out in their numbers to vote for the PDP. And this candidate is going to get it. With the level of awareness that PDP has created through their campaign, do you think it is enough for them to win this election in Ondo State? Well, we have done more than enough. We have gone through various worlds, we have gone to all the 18 local government in those days. And that's why we have chosen uh, Ondo, which is uh, the seat of uh, the community crowd, making it impossible for you to pass through. So in the type of preparations, we are well prepared, we have taken our time, we have addressed issues, we have addressed people, and uh, you can see what our opponents are doing. They are taking to violence, they are taking to intimidation, they are taking to coercion. We are not getting to people, we are talking about people, and we are very sure that our preparations are low. And the issues that we are brought before are taking up. What do you think differentiates Eita Ojegede from his other political party candidates? Well, Eita Ojegede stands out. He stands out very tall. He stands still out. And when you talk about track record, performance, he sat in the government that brought so much transformation to those things. And this is what we are selling to the public. This is what we are selling to those people. We don't have any doubt in our mind that we are going to come back to this election. What advice do you have for the people of Ondo State on October 10, 2020? Yeah, we are advising our people in those states to come out with their numbers, to come out to reject this government that has brought to uh, brought to those states to the very lowest. We are not going to those states this low. There is a lot of disenchantment. There is a lot of mystery. There is a lot of great. I feel elated. I feel exalted. I feel happy that my party has done well. We have crossed all the 18 local governments and you see the teeming crowd coming in. The crowd you have just seen here is just a miniature of the crowd that is coming in. The song that is on everybody's lip is and everybody is thinking it's, it's, we are electrified by that particular song. And so the people of those states have rejected APC and they have made up their mind that the PDP will be the party to beat. So on Saturday, all of them are coming out a mass to vote the PDP in the Niger PDP, in the South the PDP, in the Kutikwati PDP, in the Rele PDP, in the Dibo PDP, in the Lalujo Kekbo PDP, in uh, uh, Akure South PDP. Akure uh, North PDP, Ondo West PDP, Ondo East PDP, in the PDP, in the Federal PDP, in our PDP, in our South PDP, in our Coco South PDP electrified. And you can see it. a year body of ballet. I'm happy, I'm joyous, I'm full of happiness, full of expectation. On Saturday, a year we will be declared. Bye bye to Jati Jati. What do you think differentiates Eita Ajagede from his other political party candidates? One of the candidates does not have a certificate. He has to do his post bad English. So you, we can't bring that person as the governor of Monday. On those state values education, say we are going for this election, let your vote be counted. What kind of nonsense is that? 
The other one is, is a very erratic. He can even fight. So the eater has this this uh, demeanor of calmness. It's mere, it's attractive. The man is even handsome. He's educated. He's knowledgeable. You will see him in this day. That's the kind of governor we want. He's different. He's separate. The Bible says, come out among them and be separate. The Italy has come out of, among them and he is separate. What advice do you have for the people of Ondo State come October 10th? Go and vote. Stand by your vote. All of you, when you have voted, stand by your vote. Don't let anybody bring money. If they bring money, take it. Take the money, put it in your pocket. Go and vote for PDP. If they don't agree, drive them away. It is your right. Go there. Press PDP. You won't see a Yidah Jagger there. What you will see will be umbrella and PDP. As you press umbrella and PDP, it is a Yidah you are voting for. So from all the PDP. PDP, 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 and PDP. Uh, my name is Saha. Hi, Chief Ako Richards, SDK. The team of Amadi Kendigo in Ondo State. And leader of all Igbos in PDP. It's so nice to meet you, sir. How do you feel coming down to Ondo today to honor the final campaign rally of the PDP? I am very much delighted to be part of today's ceremony. One that is very special about today's ceremony is that uh, throughout my sojourn in Ondo State here, and as a member of uh, PDP since 1999, I've not seen a period like this where an aspirant may not have a lot of money to mobilize people, but both the, the children, the young, the elderly, they came out in mass to support the, the candidates. One thing that's very special about this is that spiritually I believe that the gods of the land and the angels and saints in heaven has signed this divine project which is a Jagede campaign organization and I know that the God Almighty has signed his candidacy and the come October 10, I know victory will be that of PDP and the Ita Jagede. Sir. What do you think makes um, Eita Ajegede stand out out of his other political party candidates? Eita Ajegede is a, a very sellable and marketable material. Eita Ajegede is educated, is wise, is very intelligent, is transparent, is trusted and tested, and has traveled extensively. Jegede was born in Yoruba land, but uh, he spent uh, his useful age in northern Nigeria, in Yola. And uh, history will never forget him in that place as a young man practicing in that uh, state where he was living before he came down here in 2015 to work as an uh, attorney general of the state. And uh, his works speak louder about his character and his humility and the interpersonal relationship with the people there. And we, the non-indigenous in Ondo State here, we see the best part of him when he was at the general of Ondo State. A man that is a candidate, so he is uh, detribalized. Born in Yoruba land, spent majority of his full age in the north, and married from the south-south. So the insurance covers us that they are here because we have tested a lot of governors. But himself, is God sent. His candidacy is God sent. That's why they call it God's own divine project. Are you getting me? Yes, so I am sure he must win. Yes, because the angels and saints and the spirits of our father, fathers are family who cannot even walk. Maybe they hear Jagede. Yes. Jagede has become a very beautiful messenger who wants to come and redeem on those yes, Because some of the infrastructure which uh, the incumbent government here has decayed. Something like mother and child. A lot of them have died within the period of four years which people have spent there. Pregnant women, they have a, 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 a medical facilities to their disposal. The elderly, the youth, they go to hospital, they are free of charge. But nowadays, that place has become a maribund project. I get it. And there's nothing like light, no road, 
no other infrastructure that made life to tick. We only see white elephant project on the pages of newspaper yes, and on the screen. Yes, but today, I believe that if Jagede becomes the governor, things will be okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for coming on the record. God bless you. I go to the top of the bill on those days, let it go, Minira. I job a kere do luni komori pe ofi ya jara ilu. Asi ko iboto, olon fo wonshe poster. Mwode ti ni, dani lo ju ikpe toba ti di October 10, this very Saudi. Ta si a kere do luni to juye rulo lo se tinye. Because a kere do luni is not prepared for governance. He did it in the debate of the city of Imanto, he goes to But this time around, at the door in 2016, at the day, he was prepared for the job. He was prepared for the job. As Koti Tonsi, he was prepared for the job. I want to tell you, 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 Emma de Kata or John Lawa for a way PC. A PC or Lodger Lato da for in Nigeria. A coco. A PC or Lodger Lato da for anything below on those states. On those states this time around. I'm not in Libretto. I'm a Libretta, but in Libretto. A little show. Thank you and God bless you. Pay de pay. Pay de pay. Pay de pay power. PDP is the power, and this time around in Ondo State, on the 10th of October, 2020. Take note, 2020. The people of Ondo State are encouraged to do two things. Take your PVC and carry your face mask. Go to your unit orderly and vote because it's only when you vote that we will actualize the dream the vision and the determination and those states will be great again no doubt the sun will shine once again as it is shining today as we welcome distinguished guests into our midst and passing me here in front is the distinguished senator representing on those central senatorial district from Idonri, but representing the central senatorial district, Senator Ayo Akia Lure, a big hand for all over our senator. Whilst we were having those moments of um, interview, can we meet you? Who are you representing? Uh, I am Honorable Lashikola Kori. I am the, I am Honorable Lashikola Kori. The director general of the most powerful group, political group in the state, are prepared outside there, pulling it by pulling it to a month everywhere in the state. And of course, we believe that come this Saturday, the entire the PDP is winning this political election. Okay, sir. With your level of preparation and the campaign and the awareness that has been created by the PDP, do you think it is enough for PDP to take over on those states come October 10, 2020? Uh, yes, yes, of course. I've been saying in several occasions that. In before on, on those states is never an APC state. Definitely PDP is coming. We are winning. Don't forget the election in 2019. We go to the field of 2019. We deliver about two senators for the party out of the three senatorial districts. So the victory is sure for PDP. Okay, sir. What do you think differentiates Eita Ejagene from his other political party candidates? It is very, very clear. We have had serious interview where you see Eita Ejagene and Akere Lulu. And of course, at Bola Jai, Eita Odegere is the most brilliant among all, among all these people. And of course, Eita Odegere is the kind of person that we need in those states. We don't need aggressive governors or so, uh, somebody who cannot bring a government to the, to the doorstep of those states. So I believe Ondo State is coming for Eita Odegere and it's the last time for the job. Yes, sir. What, what advice do you have for the people of Ondo State come October 10, 2020? Yes, I am advising people of Ondo State, particularly the youth, to come out earnestly to give their votes to Barrister Ita the PDP. Of course, he has done it before. He was the Antony General of Ondo State, the only person that served for several and a half years in the history of Ondo State. And after, after that the service, Minikwa have begun in 2016 to run. That means Minikwa have seen some potential 
in him. And of course, when you look at the interview between the vice president and uh, uh, the current governor, he said a job is good, man. He said a job is good for the job. So we are ready to, to for, for this election, and of course, victory is sure. And also, on that state is not a legal state. Well, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We are prepared. Even the level of preparation in those states is highly more than what happened in those states. We will not allow Tinobu to come and manipulate our election here because we understand that in the history, we understand a lot of intimidation because the people will take power forcefully in Lagos State. So there is no single vote I've ever been counted in the history of Lagos State because of the uh, Godfather reason. But in those states, Tinobu have never once upon a time get it, get it right in those states. So we will not get it right again in this first coming election. Are we winning? I greet all our leaders of PDP, all excellencies, national uh, member of the National Council for the State, present. My name is Goluga Dele Ikenboju, a member representing Okutubari, the Federal Constituency of the National Assembly. And by the grace of God and by providence, your incoming deputy governor for PDP in the state. I want to thank every party member. And I want to wish us good luck on Saturday. Lord, your Saturday. I'm a Debo. I'm a back at the We are going to get rid of...